so before this tutorial starts, I just want to make a short little announcement that um, this channel needs a new intro to put in front of um, my videos on this channel, my J Swirls 2 channel. Um, you know, it's not necessarily, it's not necessary for this channel, um, but I thought it'd be a fun little thing to do. Uh, I will be using everyone's uh, intro as long as it follows the rules and guidelines. Um, so if, as long as, if you submit a intro to me and it sucks, but as long as it follows the rules, I will still use it. Um, so to send an intro to me, um, just upload, either upload it to like, um, I'll leave some links to where you can upload your videos to. Um, you can upload it to several file sharing sites or you can send it using this certain website. I will find it um, and leave it in the description. All details will be in the description. I probably won't say everything. So you probably need to read the description if you're going to submit um, a uh, intro to me. So um, I'll have the email you need to send it to and everything in the description uh, since this tutorial might be kind of long. Um, and now I'm just, okay, so on with the tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create um, this kind of space background, uh, and this is in GIMP. I have a Photoshop version over on um, my main channel, uh, JX Tutorials, and uh, so I said I was going to make a um, GIMP version, and so this is the GIMP version of the space YouTube background. So what you need to do is go ahead and download a template I have, um, a YouTube template I have uploaded. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download that. So what you need to do is just um, download that. It'll be a PSD file, but you will be able to open it up in Photoshop. Uh, so just download that and go ahead and open it up in Photoshop, I mean in GIMP. So you can go ahead and, so once you've opened it up, it should look something like this. Uh, you can go ahead and delete some of the layers that you don't want to use. Uh, I won't be using the more boxes layer, so don't use, uh, do not use that for this tutorial. Delete the more boxes layer uh, it, for this tutorial. Now, go down to your background layer and um, grab your gradient tool or your blend tool and change your foreground color to a dark blue. Or actually, you know, you can choose whatever color you want, but that's simply the color I'll be using. And by dark blue, I mean really dark blue. Uh, so I'm going to go with. Uh, the HTML notation of the color I'm using is 00050B. And then I'm going to choose a dark pinkish color. And the HTML notation of this is 080003. And now I'm just going to drag my gradient straight down. Um, and I am doing this on my background layer. So go ahead and do that. Then create a new layer above your background layer and go to filters render cloud solid noise and i'm going to turn the detail up to 15 check randomize and then select ok just wait for it to load it might take a while and now go over to your layers window and under mode click the drop down menu and set that onto dodge and um, the dodge isn't quite as intense as I'd like, so I'm going to duplicate that layer by pressing the uh, duplicate icon in your layers dialog. And some parts, uh, if any part of you, the image is too intense and you don't really like it, just grab your eraser tool and you know you can erase some parts that you don't like um, and stuff like that. So if there's any parts of it that you that you think are a little too intense, you can go ahead and erase those parts. Uh, but that just makes it a little more bright because uh, that's just a little too dark for my liking. So now I'm going to create another new layer and I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool, uh, set your foreground color on black and paint that layer in black. Then go to filters, noise, HSV noise. <coughs> I'm going to set my holdness up to 8, hue to 180, saturation 255, and value 255. So just drag all the bars up to the very top and select OK. Now set the layer mode onto Dodge um, and this will create some nice little stars. Um, again, it's not quite that intense so you may want to duplicate that. Um, that'll definitely help it a little. So now once you have that, um, you can 
grab your eraser tool and just kind of erase certain parts of the stars because um, you might not want stars everywhere. Um, so just grab your eraser tool and, you know, uh, choose a fuzzy brush and just kind of erase certain parts that you don't like. And if you want, you can duplicate that again just to make it a little more intense because um, things aren't as bright in GIMP. And now once you have that done, I'm going to be applying a nice um, effect to the layers. So I'm going to go up to the shape, uh, shape 4 layer, and I'm going to, you don't even need this layer after we apply effect to it. Go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And for offset X, um, put in 0. Offset Y, put in 0. Blur radius 15. Color, set that onto white. Um, Uncheck Allow Resizing and put the opacity at 100 and select OK. Now, um, so now we have a nice, uh, this white drop shadow to it. Um, so go down to the drop shadow, shadow layer and set that layer mode onto Overlay. But as you can tell, it's not quite, you really can't tell too much where that blur is or where that, you know, uh, glow is. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. Actually, don't duplicate it yet. What we want to do is Go up to the shape 4 layer, which is the layer that corresponds with that drop shadow layer. Right click on it and select alpha to selection. Then drop down back to your drop shadow layer and press delete on your keyboard. And then select none. Now you can delete your shape layer and just duplicate that drop shadow layer um, a lot. Um, I'd go, I'd duplicate it um, around, you know, four times maybe. And that gives you a nice glow effect. And you can just apply that effect to all the other boxes. Um, this way is a little more tedious than the way on Photoshop, but since GIMP doesn't have layer styles, this is really the only way you have to manually go in and do everything. Uh, so yeah, that's the GIMP version of this tutorial, and I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer your questions.